morning to my fellow Dolly family, or good evening wherever you may be. This is just an update. This is not a Dolly talk. This is just an update on what I've been doing. Um, the fall is going to be a crazy busy year for me because um, I have, I'm sorry if my hair is looking a little bit crazy because I tried straightening it today, but it just doesn't want to, just wants to do its own thing. I'm trying to paint my silicone baby boy. I haven't started yet because I'm a little concerned about how this paint is going to react. I think it's fine. I just think it needs a good mix, but I got BBDING paint silicone pigmented and I think it's going to work the same way. I just need to get some sponges and some paint brushes. So I don't know what's going on here. Like the paint is getting all crackly and dry. So I'm wondering if I should even use it or if I should just add the paint thinner and then maybe it will lighten up. If not, I may have to reorder everything <laughs> and maybe start all over again. Um, and yeah, so, um, Basically, this fall is going to be a very hectic um, fall. Um, it's my father's birthday this fall, and we're going to celebrate that. I'll just say he's 25 again. Um, and then uh, we are... I'm painting a baby, as you know. I haven't started because I've been a little scared, too, because of all of the pigmented, and I'm hoping it will work with the paint thinner, and I hope I got the right paint thinner. Um, so it, I did a video, a separate video on my silicone baby, um, and I hope, um, you guys really enjoy him. I'm going to wash him down today and let him dry while we go for our, uh, little stroll and I might start painting him. I'm excited. It's going to be so much fun. The first code, but I think you're supposed to get flesh and I might make him really light. So I made this is kind of dark, so I may add a little white to it and maybe that could help. I've never painted a silicone baby. I did um, Michaela. Michaela was uh, with the help of my friend um, Marilyn, and I think I'm going to do that again in the fall. It will be lots of fun. Um, the other thing that I've been doing lately is getting back into my drawings, and I've also been reading a lot. I really love reading books, and my nieces encourage me to read a lot. She, I sit there and I see her encouraging, like, she just sits there and reads. She's a bookworm. She loves to read. She, Lydia, is just phenomenal with books. She just doesn't want to, like, it's not that she doesn't want to interact, but I think she just likes to enjoy reading. It's like your best friend. My parents have always taught me that when you have a book, it's your, it's your best friend, really. So she's more like that. Um, so the book that I just finished was an amazing book and it's not really a book. It's more of a cartoon clip book and it's called Heartstopper and I recommend that to anybody who loves stuff like that and it is an amazing an absolutely amazing book. It's about two couple that are males and they they're afraid to show each other's uh, love for each other when they're at school and I'm sure all the popular kids that now know about this story but it is amazing and they go through challenges at school like bullying and they go through um, how to deal with their relationship and how can they cut to the slack and there's a series of them so I just, I felt, I read the whole book in the last two days and it was amazing. And I just pre-ordered the second book. So I have to go pick that up on Saturday, next Saturday. Um, so if you want the book, let me know and I'll do a video review on the book. But I just finished it. So um, I am actually chosen Sinner's Sense and it looks like a good book. I prefer to read, um books that i'm sorry if my neighbors um dogs go off he's a very chatty guy um the sinner sense scenes are really cool and they kind of remind me of goosebumps books and so i'm gonna try reading this there's two more series so i'm gonna see if i'm gonna like this and what i like about these kind of books is that um they're not very uh challenging for me to read um if you look that's what the reading description looks like 
Um, and it's just, it looks easy to read. Like I love teenager books. I can not stand reading adult books because I mean, there's nothing wrong with adult books. Don't get me wrong. They're really wonderful and they're really fascinating and people do love them. I get that. I just prefer um, the enjoyment of a teenager book, like something like a, I think a 15 year old or 18 year old would read. And that's my mindset on books. So I'm gonna try reading this. It's basically, it was an expensive book. Um, I love the smell of books. Um, Spooking the terrible town of the Hyades, Hyades Hill it has been overrun by the army of descriptive outsiders. But for once, Joy Willis does not mind the intrusion because they have come to shoot an actual horror movie. In the must of certainty, certainly be the world's eerie location. Joy is convinced that the attention will finally prove that she was guest. The legendary Arthur E.A. I can't say his last name, so I apologize to the Arthur. Um, set is creepy tales of beloved hometown. When I think it's pure got, I apologize. Um, the things the dramatic twisted movies, temperamental young Scarlet goes missing and Joy steps in. It's like a Nancy Drew kind of. So I'm gonna try reading this. If I do like this, I may order another set and I know my niece will love this. She's into the whole like other like um, stuff. Like um, she's into the Hunger Games right now. She loves Harry Potter. She loves Nancy Drew. So she likes those kind of books. Um, oh, and I'll show you, I got into drawing again um yesterday and i don't know how i feel about it but i think i might like it now yesterday i wasn't too pleased with it but i did do a horse drawing and i don't know i'm not quite done it i have to darken it up because it looks too late but and i move i should have moved him over here but um there's my horse drawing and i am honestly don't know if i'm happy with it it just sometimes it turns out the way that you don't want it to and, and expects it to so I'll be finishing that today as well as uh, going for a WALK with my dog. Um, and we're just having a lazy day. I think Kevin wants to go see the new Beetlejuice uh, movie. So he might go and do that. And I might stay home and water the plants and just kind of chill and clean up the house. I'm very exhausted. I've had such a crazy last few busy days. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. And if I end up tuning into um painting my silicone baby i'll maybe do one coat of it and then i'll show you what it looks like afterwards all right all right i'll talk to you guys later bye everyone have a great saturday morning